Hi everyone, welcome back. As you can see from the title, I'm going to share with you how I normally do my Christmas shopping. I'm currently sat with my MacBook and chilling in my pyjama bottom and my jumpers because it's already cool now. Um, a bit of a disclaimer, I've already finished all of my Christmas shopping but I don't want my family and friends to know what I'm getting them yet. I want it to be a bit of a surprise for them. So everything that you see here today, everything that I'm going to share with you is not the real deal, but this is how I normally do my shopping every year. Initially, I was going to do all of my shopping during the Black Friday sales end of November, but then in the end, I didn't wait for any sales at all. I finished all of my shopping on the 24th of October, and then Amazon announces that they are starting their Black Friday sales on the 26th of October. What timing. The main reason why I didn't want to wait for any sales is because I figured most people are going to be relying on online shopping this year with the lockdown and all of the issues that's going on around at the moment. So I didn't want to run out of options. I didn't want to run out of sizes. I didn't want to wait for any deliveries or any potential delays and all of those things. So I started and I finished before everyone else started. I also learned from my lesson last year. Last year, I wanted to get into the proper Christmas mood. So I left all of my shopping until the week before Christmas because I wanted to go to the shops. I normally do all of my shopping online and I browse and I buy everything much earlier because I think and plan ahead of time and then I get things as and when I see it. But last year, because I wanted to get into the mood itself and because I wanted to go to the Christmas market, I left it for the week before Christmas and I went to the stores and I didn't like it at all. I just found it so stressful because it was crowded. Everyone was shutting so early and I didn't like any of those pre-packaged stuff. I felt like there wasn't enough option and there just isn't enough time for you to be able to buy for everyone within the same day in multiple different stores because you don't get everything in the same store at all. I ended up letting Lakshman choose everything at the end of the day for everyone and I wasn't even satisfied with the entire experience. I definitely wasn't gonna make that same mistake this year. Anyways, this is how I do my Christmas shopping every year. First and foremost, you need an Excel spreadsheet. Now, you can use Word document, you can use Notepad, or you can use a physical paper and pen if you wanted to, but I normally use Excel because I find it so much more easier to, you know, total everything up and look at everything in the entire screen itself. Now I've got one for 2018, 2019. Um, I've got a list of everything that I've bought for people in the past year so I don't repeat the same thing again this year. And I also don't want to use my precious brain power to remember everything. So I let technology do that part for me. Okay, so once you've got your Excel, um, make a list of who and what you're going to buy for each person. So who meaning whoever you're meeting over Christmas. I normally buy gifts for those that I'm going to meet during the Christmas period. I have family and friends all over the world and I don't get to see them as often. So they won't be included in this list. But I make a similar list when I'm going to be traveling to meet them. Well, having said that, I don't even know if I'll get to meet my family in Glasgow this year for Christmas. But I just bought everything and hope that we will meet them at some point, whether it's during the Christmas week or at least after that. Next, plan a budget. Regardless of how low or high your budget is, it's important to have a budget and stick to it. It'll help you find gifts easily and it'll keep you on track too. So let's say your budget is £50 or even £100, then do that. I mean, if it's the same for everyone, then that's fine. If it's different budget for different people, maybe uh, you know cheaper for kids or more expensive for adults or siblings or whatever it may be, up to you. Whatever you want to do, just do it that way, okay? And then comes the gift ideas. When it comes to gift ideas, list out some of the potential things that these people will like, okay? For example, if you know, someone has a hobby or something that they have mentioned to you in the past, like something that they're interested in, then list that down. Think of what they enjoy doing. It could be makeup, it could be perfume, clothes, electronic gadgets, books, stationeries. The list is never ending. But you need to get something suitable for each person. You can't just randomly buy the same thing for everyone, you know. It's, it's not worth it, is it? Once you've got your gift ideas listed out here, I would recommend you to go on to websites that offer more options like Debenhams, John Lewis, Amazon. These three things are always my top favorite. Let me show you how I would do it on Debenhams website, for example. Use the filters to your benefit. 
I don't like buying pre-packaged stuff. If you are running out of time and you are not really into personalizing things or whatever, go to this tab that says Christmas and you'll be able to find whatever you need. Look for all gifts, beauty gifts, candles, diffusers, that's for example, you know, all of those things. Or if you want to look for gifts by recipients, let's say gifts for her. Um, I'm looking for something for my mother, for example, that's the first thing. So click on gifts for her and then they have a lot of options according to your budget. And they have a lot of other options here that says three for two, stocking fillers, secret Santa, uh, makeup, beauty gifts, self-care gifts. There's just a lot of options that they have already curated. So they've done the work for you rather than you having to do the work yourself. Okay. If you don't want to browse through so much, you can look at these pages and you can find whatever you want. For example, let's go into perfumes and you've got this thing. Um, let's say my mother likes a specific perfume brand. Let's go to poison and then if this is a favorite, it's actually not her favorite, it's my favorite. <laughs> so that's one of my techniques. I buy something that I like. If she doesn't use it, then I will take it from her. But I'm not recommending that you do that at all. But if this is what they like, look at what their favorite brands are, find it and then add it to your basket. Okay, let's say I want this one. And then select the size that you want. It's within your budget. Okay, let's say you want to get two or three different things. So get one of those and then add it to your bag. And then now you can go back and look for something else under beauty and then look for body care maybe. Um, oh, this one's quite nice. This will be quite useful for my mom. Add that to your basket. So that's how you do it, okay? And this is the actual price. It was 54 pounds and then 48.60, now it's 27 pounds. So you've made a lot of savings there and you do have a lot of options that way. If you didn't want to look at the standard Christmas gifts, you can go into each one individually. Let's say you want to buy a dress, okay? Go either by brand or go by the kind of dress, like occasions or party dresses. Let's go for occasion dresses. And then let's say my um, budget is about 50 pounds for a dress. I know my mother's style. She's not going to wear casual or she's not going to wear, um, you know, like a sleeveless dress or party dresses or that sort of a thing. So look for something which is her style. She is more into, let's have a look. She is more into ball gown? No, she's not into ball gown dresses. What kind of dresses will she prefer? Ah, she's more into maxi dresses. Okay, let's have a look. I like this one. This one looks really nice. It's got sleeve and it's a good length. It's got a good cut and the color and everything. So you just scroll down and you have so many options here. You know, if you want to filter it according to size, you filter that also. So this shows you what is available in those sizes. And you want to sort out by price, you sort it out by price also or by best discount if that's what you want to do. Choose one, I really like this. I have my eye on this, so I'm gonna add this on. You've already selected uh, size 12, that's low in stock. So add that to your bag. Okay, so that's one done. One of the reasons why I like places like Debenhams or Amazon or John Lewis is that you have a lot of options. It's not only clothes, but you have accessories, you have beauty gifts, you have home and furniture, you have, you know, kids, men, uh, gifts and toys, electronics. You can filter it according to the brand. So you can look for a lot of people within the one website and you've got a lot of different brands to go through as well. I usually spend a lot of time browsing through different websites and I add everything to my basket and then I'll filter it out. I kind of mix and match everything because I like to give a few different things in a box together rather than just one gift or one item itself. So what I do is I choose a few things which kind of reminds me of that specific person and then I'll add it to the basket and then once I've picked everything that I think I like for each person. I compare on everything and that's why I've got my Excel spreadsheet. So I list everything out and I look and compare and see which would go better with the other one and everything and then I filter things out from my basket at the end of the day. If I have a lot of time, this entire process will probably take me a weekend 
or sometimes even longer but usually I'm very impatient once I see something I want to order it straight away I want it straight away and I don't want to run out of stock of that option especially when I like it so this time when I did my shopping I finished it over the weekend I think I started on a Saturday morning and finished ordering everything by a Sunday afternoon so I started receiving all of my deliveries this week another thing I do when I order my stuff I gather everything together and make sure it comes in one parcel because I don't want so many packages I don't want so many people at my doorstep knocking and you know going out to pick up so many deliveries you are able to reduce packages when you gather everything and have it delivered at one go Amazon is really good at doing that they've got this Amazon day delivery so even if your packages are coming from different sellers it will still gather and it'll come to you on one particular day rather than coming at different times once I've ordered everything I go back to my spreadsheet and I change this column here where I had some gift ideas on here I change it to input what I ordered for them and what I'm going to give them that year and I would also create a new column to see what the actual price was so you have like a better idea for next year as to you know how much you spend or whether you need to alter your budget or not and that sort of thing so there you have it that's how I normally do my shopping every year it's worked really really well for me and I hope it will work for you as well if you found it really useful give it a thumbs up and I hope you will consider subscribing and I will see you again next week as usual bye